Hello everybody, it's Ultimate Khalid and welcome to Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. In the last episode, we pretty much did four missions. Have a conceivably long episode with some hardcore commentary and stuff. And some commentary with my mom and stuff. With, well, some little bit of least commentary because I was like busy with my mom and auntie, like, as I can remember. And also, in the last bonus episode, I finally got out of being a stupid ninja! Since I finally mastered Double Sword, and now I'm pretty much switching to fighters and paladins and that and stuff now. So that was actually a good episode. Yes, I mean, so that was a good episode last- I mean, th that was a good last episode, so jeez. So in this episode, I'm just scorching some missions and stuff. Note that this is being post commentated. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> good, good Sunday. I'm having a good Sunday. Even though it's all gonna be bored out because I got 1 hour and 54 minutes of commentary. I so spoiled it. Since I pretty much know the time since this is being post commentated. So, this is basically future me. And I actually thought that. I, 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 I am. I actually thought that this bonus episode would actually be very, very long and stuff because as a, because as a little spoiler, I was pretty much doing a mission in this bonus episode that, that took dumb long because I was trying to boost up experience points. And I thought it, this episode was actually going to be even more longer than my last bonus episode, but it's really not. It's actually a lot shorter. So that's what I was afraid of because I don't want to be talking like a whole lot of hours and minutes and stuff. Also, this mission that I just picked is actually mandatory for what's coming up. Thanks, it's hard but to people who find these snowy missions. Yeah, this mission I'm, I actually pick is actually a little mandatory. Oh right, nobody here, so it's funny. I wonder how hard it is in the snow. Jeez, it's giving the text so fast. Good news for you, that's hazard pay! I have no idea what's hazard pay. Hey, Pubmaster! That snow mission's still available. Ritz, what are you doing here? <clears throat> oh, so you're the one who took it. That works out for us. Wanna take me along with you? <clears throat> Ugh, crack. My texts are a little... I mean, my commentary's a little wrecked up for just imitating their voice. Uh, sure, mind telling me why you want to go so much? The people in the snow enter me and say, "Sorry, really? Please, I promise I won't get in your way." Okay, let's go together then. It's kind of thanks, thanks, Clayton. It's kind of weird that I'm pretty much busting out these commentary. I mean, busting out their texts. And a different music than they're supposed to be. And you kids better watch out yourself out there because we're still kids. And man, a whole a bunch is going fast. But I like thought that this is this episode was gonna be like mega long and stuff, and longer than last episode, but it's really not and stuff. Now, when it comes to this mission that I'm gonna be going out with Ritz, I highly recommend you that if your clan party is full up to 24 max. You need to get rid of somebody. You need to get rid of somebody, so I'm getting rid of martyrs right here. Thank you so much, Koopu. I have lots of fun. Now, reason to pretty much like this miss somebody if your clan is full, giving you some giving you a space for somebody is very relevant for what's coming up later on, but for now. I'm pretty much trying to find a mission stuff. I can find that battle thing. And I gotta be careful with these cleanse also, because they're like in my way, jeez. STOP MESSING WITH ME! And with him gone, I can finally go to the Bereavement Place for... The Battle Tourney, or the Swimming Tourney. I have no idea what tourney that is in the Barbell Palace. I mean, that's oddly ridiculous. I mean, what's oddly ridiculous and stuff is that they pretty much like bust out only tourneys in that place. And only tourney missions in there. But they are, importantly, a special type of missions. Oh no, it's under attack! I gotta do this between episodes, you gotta be a dick! And that too! <laughs> okay, fine. So, we're doing the battle tourney, also. I think I either did this already or I didn't, but I think I didn't. 
But yeah, and stuff. Pretty much the gimmick of... Well, when it comes to the gimmick of my strategy in this bonus episode, it's basically similar to last bonus episode and stuff. So I bust out myself. I think I bust out Mount Black. But then I was checking out everybody's stats and everybody's like up to the 20... something. So that's basically a scare. And I put Mount Black here since he's our mage and stuff and he really doesn't have any physical offensive purposes and stuff. So I put Lorak right here. And I'm pretty much like saying what I where I put my teammates and stuff instead of the teammates that I just put in. I put Mariel in and I put Macron in. And I almost pick Arwen, which would be a stupid grave mistake that I would made. <laughs> and Battle be gone. But I was trying to like check out everybody and stuff. Now basically, once again, the gimmick of my strategy in this bonus episode, basically my strategy is that my strategy is basically similar to last bonus episode, except that I'm not a ninja and stuff and I am a fighter. So basically this So basically the strategy I got that I actually just invented um, is a very good one, and it will pretty much help me to level up and stuff. Even as a fighter and stuff. Like, I pretty much got it nailed down. So, also as a fighter, basically between episodes, I kind of actually changed myself to a fighter and actually just bust out some skills. So, I'm, so basically, I'm switching up. A little. As you can see here. Okay, good commentary while I'm trying to find a thing. I'm pick the flame time because I got backdraft and stuff. Even though I hmm. Oh yeah, beatdown was the one. Backdraft is actually the one that kinda rescue of HP and stuff. I was actually like thinking which one I don't got and stuff. And I just try to view people again and just try to like check out Lorak and stuff, is if he's okay and stuff. He got better in skill. Bone Crusher, blah 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 blah, equip shins, blah 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 blah, good. And now we got Mariel. Who's looking sharp? Good, let me just check. Please. Yeah, she's ma trying to master double shot and stuff, which she's almost there. I guess after this mission, she'll master and stuff. Then I check out Mac. Then I was trying to check out Macro and stuff. And also show you the ability she got as blue mage and stuff, Kiraga. Ball, ball, ball. Okay, not showing you the abilities that she got as a blue mage. I don't know what I was thinking. And then finally, after all that checking, I begin the first mission. Let's win this one. Okay. Oh, I am so going to, going to sleep for this one hour and 54 minutes of commentary. As I just spoiled how much time this has been. Even though pretty much everybody can pretty much see the time on YouTube and stuff. On the YouTube time. So it doesn't make sense of me pretty much spoiling out the, how much long I've been doing this for. Jeez. Hey. So on Mariel's turn, I just begin trying to really rock and roll with this by trying to insta kill somebody on a already and by using last breath but I have a better solution why not insta kill the sage instead rather than just a stupid defender even the defender can be a pain sometimes because of um, bringing back somebody but the sage can be trouble especially since the sage once again has some hardcore spells So, that's all. Also, my auto commentary has actually been recorded the same day as I recorded bonus episode nine. And just to and just to spoil it, it's so short. It's so short. It's so short. So <laughs> I kind of spoiled episode. On this episode 9, like some kind of douche. Hey, it's just so shot. 
so sharp, so so sharp, so sharp, my good man. And now on Lawrence's turn, I just really act like a dick to both of them and just try to like spear them, since I can't do that. And I hit the paladin, but I'm still losing this. Do I miss? Even though I hit. Uh. And man. Basically, I might be getting some comments. I'm basically like getting some comments, like when I'm pretty much like going into like LP the second game, because once again, there is actually a second game of Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. It's called Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2: Grimoire of the Gift, and I LP that and stuff. Also, I just try to kill their illusionist right now with my awesome double sword. More like double blades since I'm with, like on having blades and stuff, but I'll core that. I mean, but I'll LP that and stuff. And like I was also like thinking that I pretty much changed my catchphrase of miss and like actually speak to Chugga Conroy in person, like well not in person. Like speak to Chugga Conroy in in YouTube or Twitter and in Twitter actually and try to say Oh, oh mighty awesome god, Alpine god Emil, can I have your, can I adopt your awesome joke of, do I miss? And pretty much hopefully if he say yes, then that means I'll actually use it and stuff, because this is actually quite good to use it. Like, like basically if that was me controlling the dragon and I actually miss my black eye, I say, yeah, I hit Macron, even though he was protected by MP. But I missed Mount Black. Do oh, I missed? I can actually do it like that. Also, speaking of which, Macron's turn and all her MP was blown to bits while I was talking, only leaving her to only use those blue magic. And even though she switched to her Mount White magic, she can only use. Uh, well. This may backfire, stupid. <sighs> but there's another level up. I'm not gonna let Macron do any. I'm not gonna let Macron do nothing. I'm going to use Mighty Guard as my defense and as my using God. <laughs> oh my gosh! Defense. And speaking of which, once again, a Mount Black turn actually. Like basically, I can finish off their Paladin, but at the same time, and at the same time, I can actually deal damage to, the, to their Defender. But ugh, yeah, I can do that. But then I was thinking about doing damage to their Dragon over here, but I just think about the other. One, even though it will do 91 damage out of 246. Yeah. This dude is packed up for a defender and stuff, so even though I do do some good group damage, it won't like, be good and stuff. So, I even missed on him, so that was dumb. That was basically a ridiculous move I just pulled out. So, this is a good example. DO I MISSED! So yeah, that's basically... How to use and stuff. That's why I'm pretty much gonna... Ask a meal to use. They can't the convoy. Hey, Okay, the defender's trying to attack on block as revenge. And 51 HP is gone. Ugh. That there's a charger in me. I need to damage with on to Mariel, even though she got HP to spare still. Jeez. Okay, enough with the my lazy commentaries. Okay, time to destroy you. On Mario's turn, because once again she got enough MP for it, 
She can use last breath on her A as revenge. Yeah, you take that. You take that for being a dick. Even though you're a paladin. You're a paladin. <laughs> a paladin. <laughs> oh, that is funny and ridiculously with chores. Uh, what's wrong with me? What is wrong? With Okay, never mind about that. Because I'm Aerith's turn, I just finished him off and stuff. Now for Lorak's turn! Basically, I was running... Yeah, Lorak's turn, I, it's kind of a chance that I cannot kill any of them. I mean, Lorak can actually use Prayer on one of them and stuff, and pretty much that will to kill them. Because... Yeah, I have no idea and stuff, but he can actually use Prayer and stuff. So, he basically got a chance to insta-kill them and stuff, but I was also thinking about hazing somebody, you know, and like, boost up their turn. And basically, because I was aiming for EXP and wasn't aiming to, like, end the mission right now, that's what I actually did. Instead of insta-killing one of them with prayer, I pretty much hazed myself in order to bust out this new... in order to bust out this strategy I was... been working on. In order to, like, boost up... my... my level. Because as haste, I use Clevery. Well, pretty much not use cle Clevery and stuff, I might. I was like thinking of moving and stuff. I can bust out my 22 mana and bust out Clevery. But as haste, I can use defense. And then, like, yeah. The so basically, I use the fence even though I shouldn't need it because basically using it, using the fence on myself while haste was actually a good move because when using the fence on yourself, you get 10 EXP. So yeah, that's a free set seted 10 EXP for me without pretty much like fighting off low level losers. So that's basically the best way that I can actually level up myself. Is that when I'm battling against a bunch of opponents that are like low level and stuff without trying to hurt my own teammates, I can use like the Fen in order to like get 10 free EXP and stuff. Rather than just fighting everybody and just getting some dope EXP like 8, 6 or something. And and then that's and then on top of that, I can also haste myself, so with me being haste and stuff and making my turns go quicker, I can like defend myself, use defense in order to get more EXP and order to level up. So that's basically my strategy for this bonus episode, in order to like level me up hardcore. And that was, and that's, and that's basically a very good strategy to pull off when battling lower level losers like these guys, even though they're level 26 and 25, but still. Also, a macro star I'm using acid, and this is actually being recorded on this. Like, basically, I'm watching my. I'm trying. I'm like babysitting my baby sister, who's poorly sick. Oh, poor dude. Poor dude. That well, I'm not pouring and stuff. And you, and my turn. You haste the pen. Yeah, that's basically my saying to this. You haste the pen. Yeah. Your haste defend. Yeah. Just like the Nintendo Capri Sons, you bite, you die. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really ripped that one off. And because of that strategy I pulled off, I leveled up already. Yeah. Level 28. Perfect. So basically, to spoil it, I pretty much do that same strategy on every mission. Which kind of was a bad move to start with because it kind of prolongs the missions like if I did not did that awesome strategy that I just show that I just told you right now and also shown then this would actually been a shorter bonus episode but instead this is so long because I pretty much did that and also Mount Black do you miss And, uh, yeah. Uh, 
Can you die already? Eh. Wow. Good thing Macron still got the 2 MP that she was holding. The, the 2 MP will protect you! Thank God. Now, thank God it was Mariel's turn because she got enough MP for one more last breath, which is as cool as ever. And I pretty much use it to their defender and stuff because their dragon, Dragoon, don't have that much in the way of HP, plus he's disabled. And I was trying to dig... What the... Uh, uh, what? Oh wow, yeah, sorry. I thought I actually did last breath in order to kill him and stuff, I thought so. Well, that was a mistake I made, Cleon. Way to go for not reading your own moves. Yeah, you thought you pretty much was going to, like, get last breath and stuff, but you didn't. Because the reason why I really did that is that I just wanted to do this one. You haste, defend! Oh my gosh. I can't believe I did not read my own move. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Where's the world? Yeah, where's the world? Just like Josh Jepsen 2013. And I pretty much like seen his episode 8 of Yoshi's Island DS. That was hot. Oh, that wasn't hot. Nor episode. Yet yeah, episode 6 was just. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I pretty much did this strategy. I haste the fan and stuff. I'm haste. I defend. You haste. Defend. And basically, for the remainder. And basically, because I pretty much got this mission beat, even though I pretty much got this mission beat since, like, Mera can insta-kill one of them, and Norak and I can just do some horrendous damage, I basically, like, prolong this mission so I can, like, do my strategy in order to level me, level me up even harder and stuff. Because I... Because I'm haste defend. I haste defend. Yeah, you might, you die. You haste the fan. Okay, Nate. Uh, because he's a star, he pretty much doesn't do anything. So, yeah. So, you haste the fan. Thank you. And now just give me some good 10 EXP right there. 10 good EXP. It's basically gonna be like the evolution for Windows. Yeah, it's gonna be like somewhat of Windows 8, but it's gonna be like Windows EXP. Windows Experience. And then it'll, and then it'll be like somewhat of Windows 8 and stuff, but it'll be like all oh, And never mind about computers. Even though I only got a even though I got a Windows 8 myself, but I'm not complaining. But I'm not boasting about it. I'm not boasting about my win awesome Windows 8. You know, I just boasted that was awesome just suddenly. And I was trying to make Macro do something, even though with 5 MP, I even tried a combo as stupid as it sounds, even though she was by herself and stuff. And the combo would be like a hundred. only be like an 100% hit. And 100% hit. <clears throat> uh, I am all over the place. So, Macro just attack. Thank God. But miss horribly. Unthank God. Since so, speaking of which, basically white mages are holy. So, on Mount Black's turn. Oh, it's hard to move on a position and stuff, but. But like, regardless of any position I go on, you know, I like try to destroy this dude with one of Mount Black spells. It'll either hit, it'll either hit Macron, Mount Black, or Mariel. And even though I just try to like reflect, go it on to Hum and Lil Rock, it'll just bounce back to Mount Black and still hit him. So that's why I pretty much did not say Mount Black. I mean, Lil Rock. 
But I just choose Lorax to take the hit and stuff, even though it wasn't worth it because basically Mount Black didn't take that much damage. Whereas he did not die. And whereas he, Mount Black, get 10 EXP. So that wasn't even worth it at all. Now on Mariel's turn, going behind this dude, I basically finished him off and stuff using an attack. So that was done with. That was finally done with. Done with. And I used double shot on it at little fancy with it. Plus overkilling him, even though he's already dead. As soon as it sounds. And Mary level up! Yay! Yeez. What kind of yeez is that? Is it star gaze? Oh, I don't know, I don't know. All I know is that I'm haste defend. You haste defend. You haste defend. Thank you. Giving me some good 10 EXP and stuff. So basically, because they only got like one dude left over there, disabled and stuff. Oh, he's oh yeah, he's still disabled. Basically, for the remainder of this mission, I just try to, like, continue to do my little haste and defend. Or not. Whereas, for Lorak, even though I was thinking about, prim even though I just said what I said on my post-commentary, I just really want to end this mission right now by doing this. And it didn't miss. So, so much for continuous haste defense. We did it! The crowd love us! And they're screaming, Super cool! Super cool! Super cool! Super cool! Yeah. Oh, good time and stuff. Like, on the very first episode of this LP, I can just remember that I pretty much like rip off Super Cool from Shrek. I think it's from Shrek the second or third and stuff that ripped off super cool. Like we're team super cool where that cookie I mean also Mary and Master Double Shot. Whereas that th that gingerbread man actually said, let's be team super cool. <laughs> oh my god, just in order to like save Shrek and Fiona from that. That was either in Shrek 3 or Shrek 2, I cannot remember. I think it's in Shrek the third. And new unit seeks membership. AK another gunner. Even though the gunner is level 10, wow. But at last, basically, you still need to leave your space. The unit went. Aww, I left the unit crying. I'm a douche. I'm a dick. I am a douche. I'm a douche dick. Ugh. But. What's done must be done because you want to pretty much leave a space and because once again you want to leave a space in the clan like in the party of your clan like only like having 23 members instead of a maximum of 24 because you want to leave like space for at least one more but not for freestyling purposes like you pretty much want to get like a high level do to join your team is just how you want to like save it for somebody really important coming up. Wind slash bow. Because I want conceal. Now it's actually a good move that I picked the wind slash bow on Mariel in order to like get concealed and stuff. Because what I was planning is that just the same way as I try to level myself with me haste with your haste defend on myself. Like, me being fast and, like, using the fence in order to get some free EXP. I was trying to do the same thing with Mario by busting out haste on Mario and then conceal. So she can get some free 10 e experience points when battling against low-level losers and stuff. So I pretty much did a similar strategy to Mario and stuff, so that was good. But speaking of which... Well, not speaking of which. Let's look! 
That was a bad voice crack. Good God, that was an actual bad voice crack I just pressed out. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. And Ritz actually will take... And Ritz will actually, like, take a spawn there. What you pretty much need is, like, four members and stuff. But with Ritz taking a spot, and with you coming mandatorial, you basically got a choice of pretty much two people that you need to bust out. Now, since most of the enemies are going to be fighting our vampires, highly recommend having Macron or any white mage in this, especially with the light, especially with the spell of life. So you want Macron to be in this. He, Macron is pretty much going to be our star unit because basically he's a white mage and stuff and most of her spells are holy even though they heal but at the same time they can also de deal some hard serious damage and stuff since it's the undead against the holy and stuff now I recommend you not busting out Ma I recommend not busting out Mariel or anybody that can bust out insta kill because basically when it comes to the undead is everything's like flip flop where because basically, as the undead, instead of getting healed by HP on the like when being healed by HP on something holy, you're basically taking damage off of your HP from something that cures you holy, like and like and like instead of insta kill moves like insta killing your A like directly, they actually heal all your HP insta kills as the undead. So that's basically how they work and stuff. I didn't really bust out that much explanation on them. Pretty much like the an episode where I actually need to fight them. I think the episode where I was facing them on the final Tortumana and stuff. So I really did not bust that out. And also, even though I'm not haste, defend because I just bust out defense right there. And background's turn. And my clock beeping like a dick. And this is some very, very adultish commentary. I'm sorry. Now, I pretty much not know this actually. I did not know this until like after this bonus episode or pretty much after the next bonus episode. But even though we're battling up against vampires, there's actually a move that Mako can learn as a, with the learning support ability as a blue mage from the vampires. Actually, it's called, and this ability and move is called Level S Fire. Now, basically, what it does is that Level S Fire actually either does damage or it actually heals. But I think it really does damage. But it, it does damage and like affects the affects a unit with like the same with the same one digit level one's digit level as the target. I mean as a user. Like like for an example, if one of the vampires is like level 18, which doesn't seem it might be true. If like one of the vampires is level 18 and they use level S fire. Because their level being 18, anybody with the level of the ones digit being 8, like with the ones digit being 8 of their level, is actually affected by level S5. So that's basically how it works and stuff. Otherwise, it won't affect anybody and stuff. But it can also affect your own teammates and stuff. I was dead wrong off my example there. They're level 10. How stupid. How stupid. And what they're gonna do is no S. Thank God. Good God. Good God. Good God. And what he's going to do. Nothing! He's going to do Okay. What he's going to do is finally not do anything. Yeah, they just move fear fearly 
like and stuff. Also, I was checking out the mission. You won't per mission won't be failed nor game overed, even if Ritz died. So you're basically safe. And even though I'm still not haste, defend. And I'm sorry. I've been. I just pretty much do this for like all the missions just for longer their A's. I'm sorry. Okay, let's wait. Let's wait it out. Let's wait till I die. Okay, now. And us. Wait. I think I was. Wow, I. Okay, maybe I read it wrong. I might be haste and not a fan because I did not see. My because while it's pretty much talking about crack, I pretty much. Well, I'm not talking about real crack. I'm not talking about real crack. When I was pretty much talking about crack and junk, I pretty much did not see Mount Black's turn where he pretty much like actually haste me and making defense. So I wasn't actually paying attention on that. On that. So I'm pretty much. So for realsies, I'm really haste defend. So that was a mistake I pretty much made and did not see coming. Also, Macron's turn. Dead near enough in order to really do some crazy damage. Let's kill him! With life, which does 199 damage. So you basically see what I mean and stuff. And with Kiraga, it actually does 181 damage off of 45%. So you see what I mean? Since they're like the undead, even though you're busting out spells that usually heal somebody, when it comes to the undead like these guys, you're doing some crazy damage to them. Like in this case, even though I'm using Kiraga, it really damages them as you can see there. 178, 179. Rather than just like healing a hundred like healing 170 and 179 if they were not the undead, but they are. Whereas insta-kills would have pretty much would have healed them. So so that's basically a little recommended to not bring anybody who can insta-kill. Bust out like insta-kills and stuff like KO insta-kills. I mean petrify insta-kills are still good. But KOing insta kills like Last Breath of Mariel aren't good. They'll just heal him and stuff, so that's what I mean. So that's what I mean. Or death. There's another KO insta kill move. Now, Bat Black's turn. I basically just damage him. But I was also hoping that the damage that pretty much like. The spell that I pretty much throw at the vampire would either miss or don't damage, or just don't damage them to the point to like kill them in one shot. Because I still am haste and I defend. You know my spear is set, so I'm pretty much not haste, but I still defend. You're not haste, but still defend. And I pretty much, and also I got this mission beat anyways, but at the same time. I've got all the time and all I like bust out haste and defend concerning the fact that in, a, in like three turns the, the other vampires that I just killed already will come back in like three turns and stuff and these vampires don't even got anything to revive them so we're okay and stuff oh and he's going to do damage and poison to Ritz and oh, black what a cool And it misses and it hits Mount Black with five damage. Jeez. Yeah, talk about weak. Weak. Weak sucker. You don't have the skill. You're just a wimp. And we're gonna punch your. Uh! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now Red's turn. She does something. And Red, we can level him high. No. Hmm. Well, she missed, so I can imagine the damage she would have taken and stuff, but she's busting out MP damage with Mana Strike. Ugh. Now, that's actually, well, that's actually good anyways, because, because even if, even if their last vampire would use level S fire, 
Like, basically, he's gotta be a level 10 or something. A level 10 or 13, whereas Riz is a level 9 and stuff, so... They're totally different one digit and stuff. Now, on Macron's turn, I would... I would like to say, when it comes to Macron's turn, let's finally finish this mission by using Karaga. Now, I would've used Life, which I think Life would do more crazy damage or might overkill him. Or, whereas, when it comes to Life, it'll, it'll also have more accuracy, but I just bust out Cure like a lazy aim stuff, but it still destroys him. And that was the end of the mission. Thank God. Ugh, two missions down already and two more to go, and it's only been like 40 minutes and stuff. Oh boy! We won it. This snowball fight's over, okay? Snowball fight? What? 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 Okay, fine. Mission cleared! Oh joy! Oh jump for joy! Hey. Say, Ritz, just now you said snowball fight. What do you mean? They are throwing snowballs and throwing people. Does it remind you of anything? Oh, mute. Right. I'm not saying those monsters were Lel's gang from them. Just when I saw the mission list back at the pub, I knew for some reason I had to take it. I wish I could do the same face. Huh? I mean, in the real world, throwing snowballs back at them? Of course you can. That's easy. It never seemed that easy. I guess you're right, though. So, Clayton, who need to help out? Help out with what? With your clan. I'm saying I'll join your team. Uh, um, why all of a sudden? Why not? Come on, it just might thought I just thought it might be fun. Hey, if you got a, pro a problem with it, just let me know. So this is the main reason why you want to leave an extra, a little extra space in the clan. Because you can get Ritz as your partner. Yeah, you get Ritz for, for real, these. And she actually got some good stats. She actually got a good level, even though it's level 13. And I have no idea why she did, how she just leveled up from level 9 to level 13. But I'm... But it's not my fault. But also, aside from all that, she got a whole lot of freaking Fender abilities already mastered. Like Swarm Strike, Shadow Stick, Fender Blow, Mana Strike, Pierce Through. She already got a couple of Fender stuff down. So she's basically packed. In a good way and stuff. She's basically well packed and stuff for an extra partner and stuff. Now she got the Ribbon. In which what the ribbon will do is that the ribbon will pretty much make you resist to all stat summons and stuff. But make your team, you can't lose. Ah, 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 you're right. Welcome aboard, Ritz. So that's basically the reason why you want to pretty much leave an extra space in your clan because you need to, because you pretty much can say yes and Ritz will actually join into your team and stuff. But if you don't have any space for your clan, then it's automatic no and she won't join your team and stuff. So, yeah. Very important reason to pretty much have an extra space in your party of your clan. Because you want Ritz here. And Ritz is basically well packed. With a whole lot of mana and other stuff. I think between episodes, like basically on some missions I might make... Ritz join a mission during a bonus episode and stuff, but on between bonus episodes, I'll try to level up Ritz and stuff, and I'll like, boost her up. I mean, she can, she's a level 13, I know, but she can be a level 14 and stuff. Also, she can be a white red mage, in which making her a red mage was actually a wrong idea, actually. I was thinking about being a fencer and stuff, and now I gotta re-equip her all over again. So that was something I did stupidly. Let's not do it again. Overall, second mission cleared, and I'm pretty much trying to find my third mission. 
and the witch. The third mission actually is the one I'm thinking that's gonna take a hell of a long time. The third mission that I just that I recorded, video recorded, is what I was pretty much afraid of of taking a long time. And I basically kind of explained this little timeline fear pretty much at the last bonus episode of this third mission of this one specific mission that I'm pretty much continuously talking about. And I'm also trying to find it, but I cannot seem to freaking find this stuff. And like I was also thinking that, did I? Wait, did I actually did add this mission? Yeah, and I can see my wanted mission, but did, like, the question is, is that did I even add this mission stuff? And I was like thinking that I kind of made a mistake that I really didn't. And I was thinking it might either be a Metro Wood in the DT Plains, but it's not. Like, I did not add this mission at all. Definitely not an Amethyst. Merska, and like, I search everywhere and stuff, and then I like, check out my... my clan, and try to check out the mission list and stuff. Because, like... Yeah, I only got Wanted as my mission. Making a total of three missions and stuff, like I totally forgot to add a fourth one, actually. So, real quick, as much as this is actually on the path of my next mission, I just real quick try to, like, buy up a mission and stuff. A.K.A. Prison Break. Which is gotta be the mission I picked. Since I just noticed that I only got, like, four missions and stuff. So I like picked Prison Break real quick and like went to the spot where Prison Break, break is being held out and stuff. And this is actually the one specific mission that I was talking about that's gonna take like a long time in this episode and stuff. So that's what I was talking about. And it's only 25 days, even though I can pretty much make it there. So I have all the time I need. Especially since it's just dead right where I was in. <laughs> oh, I was just trying to really be funny and fartish about it. Okay. Okay, never mind about that. So, on this one specific log mission. I had myself, Mount Black, Lorak, Marielle, Macamone, and Odwin. Ooh, 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 baby. And I don't know why I just sing like that and I'm continuously still singing What the F is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, so I just add Nina and Macron actually. I did not add one. Hey! Emergency! And Julia's running again! Fudge! We've been found! Let's see how to fight! So, to win is having to defeat all enemies and stuff. Hey. So, yeah. And now, uh, what I actually kind of found interesting is that while I pretty much, pretty much was trying to record this long mission and stuff, like, video record this long mission, is that, yeah, I was also checking out the levels and stuff. The levels is quite modern and stuff, they're like level 20 and stuff that I cannot remember to read out. And I was afraid of board swords and stuff. That was my problem stuff. Because I thought I pretty much have a board sword army now, kind of wrecking myself up. So that was the judge's way of trying to kill me. But but for real, what I was really interested when I was re-recording this is that if you pretty much like look closely if you actually look closely on like the the background the place background of the area we're battling on you pretty, and if you like see on the top right you can pretty much like see the statue cups you can see like the statue cups of Mute and her his mother and stuff 
that he pretty much just missed a sec like a couple of seconds ago because it just suit to easy stuff. Like you can pretty much like you can see the the cups the statue cups of Mute and her and his mother as prince and as a prince and a queen and stuff. Oh like on the top right of this place. And also in Nina's turn I was trying to like bust out barrier and stuff and try to like start to boost up Nina's I mean boost up Nina's EXP for some level ups and stuff. I even add haste on her and I want to make it more faster. Or as a Mario I just try to do the strategy of haste defend by concealing her. You haste conceal. You haste barrier. You haste defend. Like, see, those cups right there on those a couple of seconds of the screen facing the judge. Right, sorry, I was stretching. So that's a, uh, so that's a good area art stuff. Because, I mean, since they're like Queen and stuff, and also, even though I'm not haste to fan, because since there are like, was like Queen and Prince and stuff, like, since they're like Queen and Prince and stuff, like, like, basically they own like Illus and stuff, and especially Sephon, so that's why it's like this. With those cups. Also, with Macro said I was trying to use Mighty Guard on Laura just for the extra experience. I must not miss. So basically, the reason why this mission takes long is because of me boosting up my level. Like, like it's been a couple of turns and I didn't even damage them yet. I was just trying to like gain experience and stuff. Macro level up. So that wasn't that much useless. And on Matt Black's turn, I was trying to use like haste on either me or Marion stuff. But use haste on me. So I can finally haste the pen. Me straighten up my chair. Me feeling tired. And I guess also, just like the good old days and stuff, just like the very good old days and stuff that my baby sister is now calling me for stuff. And which, pretty much just like the old days, when it comes to those old episodes of this, I should pretty much like cut this and cut. Come right back. But considering that I'm automatically auto commenting this, I pretty much am forced to do this while recording this. So basically, my string of moves. So my string of moves I just bust out dur during the turns of my units, or like experience getting was like experience galore, or like ex it was like experience galore on all the moves I was trying to pull off from every turn for my units and stuff and I was also trying to da start to damage them and stuff those guys and all like get the mission going and stuff and the reason why I'm pretty much busting out the busting out what I'm what I do on my strings of turns for my units is that I need to help my baby sister out because she needs something because she's sick she's sick so sorry that this auto commentary is gonna be cut I mean commentary audio gonna be cut all my commentary is just gonna be cut, okay? Jeez. Earth Render!
I'm back! Hi! Ugh. And I can see he's an idiot! He's a rancid. It even hurts. I mean, it even hits. Watch this. Miss! And 76 targets, so that was I was not thinking of her. Do I miss trying to kill you? What the F? Hmm. Yeah, I also try to like. Yeah, I also like try to like. Oh, sorry. Like I also was trying to like go to my cookie jar and get some cookies and stuff. Yeah, so I got some cookies and stuff. Also, Mayor's turn up trying to insta kill this dude. It works. Thank you very much. And like I was pretty much, <laughs> what's quite funny is that basically like my auto recording is like, like my auto recording is like very sensible and stuff. Like even though I like I'm chewing on cookies and stuff, it like records me chewing on cookies and stuff. Like I'm that loud and stuff. Oh wow, that's funny. Now, on Nina's turn, I was trying to use defense, I mean barrier, because I just want the experience, damn it. Now, Lorax turn. Hmm. Now, Lorax turn, I was basically thinking, actually. Because there's just so many possibilities. I can haste. I can haste somebody in order to pretty much get some hardcore experience or not. So what I pretty much did is try to haste Lorak is to use haste on himself, Lorak, so she so he can have more turns to haste everybody else. And I'm haste defend. Even though I don't know I'm haste or not, because I, because I pretty much don't know if I'm haste or not, because I did not see my my black turn because I was busy with my baby sister, but I think I am haste. Just that I made the same mistake as I did last mission, and I leveled up. Hooray! Yeah, and because of, and because of my main strategy in this bonus episode, look at that. I was once level 27. And like in two to three missions, I'm like level 29. That's perfect. That's progress. And like our Mac, and like our Macron's turn, I'm trying to like boost up her experience with Mighty Guard. Now, since I'm already haste and stuff, on Mount Black's turn, I was trying to, like, damage them and stuff. With 94 damage, but with, like, 60... I think I saw. 
So yeah, not that much in the way of awesome. Not much in the way of a one-hit kill. And man, is it already been like one minute already? Is it already been like one minute of commentary? Jeez. Talk about some long time. I mean, one hour of commentary, man. And also, I need to start shine. I was thinking about using Barrier, or I was thinking of using something else from Nina. But I want to finally finish their dude over there, who might be on HP and stuff, but only does 23 damage, whereas he got 37, so I cannot do it. So I just use Barrier, goddammit. And also, I'm Ace the Pen! And on um, Lorak's turn... Since uh, I might be near enough, but I'm really not... Uh, yeah. Well, basically, Lorak wasn't there enough, so I just gotta use Cheer. Gotta use Cheer. Cheers! Cheer, cheer. And just ignore what just came out randomly and stuff. Jeez. Uh, Mario's turn, I actually got enough, like, she can move close enough in order to kill either of them, so I choose this dude right here because he seems to have all the HP he has. Yeah. So that's good, she said. And what he is going to do is use Kura. Which, I have no idea that he even got Cura. Wait, how did he even got Cura? I mean, what the F? What the F? Uh, I know where he got Cura. Don't, like, be surprised and stuff. Like, basically, I think... I think he got Cura as a... Uh, Blissop and stuff. I think Blissop is going to actually learn Cura and try to use it on heal. So, yeah. Also, this dude was going crazy. Busting out some serious damage by piercing the hell out of how hell out of us. Doing 134 damage and missing me. Well, so much for Macron's MP. What is what you blown? You douche. Alright. Good thing it was Macron's turn because Macron, I mean not Macron, it was Lorax's turn. Because good thing Lorak is dead near enough in our like insta kill, insta kill him and stuff with prayer, or just instantly kill him with his sheared attack, powered up. But unfortunately, he still got one HP remaining. 
I've got charged up chair attack. And that kind of make me so even. So that and that kind of made me so screwed because it also prolongs this mission. Even though, oh boy, this took supremely long and hell like. And I can either finish off that dude or just continue to use Barry on myself because I just really want the experience and stuff. But I think at the same time, Nino will actually get the experience. That would he? I mean, 90%, 25 damage and stuff. It's it's doable. It's doable. So I just use it anyways because I just wanted to because I cannot take it no more because I'm just saying because a lot. Jeez. So he's for real finished. But at the same time, I get some good experience. Pretty much the same amount. Pretty much a similar amount of experience that as I would have got if I buried my self, aka Clayton. And speaking of which, I haste. I defend. Thank you. You haste. Defend. I. I believe it's still. I can't believe it's been an hour and stuff like that. I went fast. Off of my commentary. Thank God. Cause I have a life of YouTube and school stuff because of my mom. My mom. And because I was pretty much out of moves, I can pretty much either attack my I, I can attack myself with Macron and just like Blown macro solo away, or just attack Mount Black, even though it just created a critical hit off of a rod and just get the same amount of experience. Well, even though I did, like, even though I macro actually did, like, even if macro did try to like att attack me and stuff, I think, I think that her reaction ability activates. Even though she was the one to attack, and I'll only take the, and only her MP will take the hit. But I don't think of that actually. I think it might work on just normal attack and stuff, and, and it doesn't counter. And also about Black Smooth, I just use. Which also the what not Black good. Good, 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 thank you. And also, on Mara's turn, I was thinking about killing this dude, but this is the only dude that I could not insta kill with Rock Seal, Last Breath, or whatever, which screws up hard. So, what I really did. Is that use Nightmare, which is the only insta kill I got that actually does work around, and I got a 98% chance and stuff. And it'll pretty much doom him and sleep him as well, and it works. Just not to spoil if it works or not, even though it's a 90% chance, and it might work. And he's asleep and doomed, so that's a hooray. So basically, obviously, since everybody's zen, since their only teammate who is still alive is asleep and about to get doomed and pretty much be asleep enough in order to die, instantly die on to doom. Basically, I rock this mission, but for the rest of the time of this mission, like before he instantly dies off of doom, I was basically busting out experience galore right here and try to use haste on everybody and try to like bust out defend on myself while hasting. Mighty Guard on Macron and stuff, or even though she don't have enough MP, just attack somebody other than me randomly for the experience. And for Nina, I bust out Barrier while hasten, I think. And on Mario, I bust out Conceal. And for Lorak, I just, bu just bust out Hasten for everybody because they need it. And on Malblock's turn, I, I bust out e both Hasten and Quicken on myself and other people and stuff, just in order to let their turns go right now. So basically, those are my string of strategies I did for the remainder of this mission. It all like make it spirit school lore right here. Like you hasty defend stuff, and because of that, everybody level up there. I mean, get some good experience and try to level up very goodly and stuff. 
goodly and stuff. It's greatly. So those were the string moves I did just now to get some experience. So nothing to commentate about that since this is just a string of turns of experience. Me using Mighty God on myself. And I'm and while wow, waiting for this mission to be over, so I can post commentate other stuff, I was basically flipping my sandal in the air and stuff. Just in order to take the mine off of waiting. I hit it on the ceiling and make it fell to the floor. Of course that was gonna happen. And you haste defend. Thank you. Nina, yes, use barrier. Yes, use barrier. Yeah, good commentary. So that it's all lazy and stuff. Because considering that things happening differently and stuff because we're just gaining experience while that dude sleeps and while that dude sleeps he dies and that's what's called a nightmare because you're asleep and then you get the nightmare of you dying also yeah I, I occasionally use quicken on with Mount Black on myself just not let my turn go away Me. I was actually thinking about using nurse and some defense, but no, I just use defense. Because you haste defend. You haste defend. You bite, you die. And because of all that hasting and defending. I am halfway there to level up again, like already level, like already 50 experience already. After battling these little levels. And on Mario's turn, I can uh, use uh, conceal and stuff and just gain 10 EXP points. Or actually do something different because I'm like defended already. And instead of like getting 10 EXP experience because like she got a range. Equipment, I can attack myself for more experience and stuff, so I don't need to like conceal myself. So that's a better strategy. Whereas for Lorak, even though he doesn't have enough experience, even for haste, he can attack me, but at the same time, because he got a spear, he can like attack me and I only take one damage. Whereas Lorak cannot be countered nor bone crushed. Since he's like far away enough, and I'm not get cranked off of that. Since I don't got a spear, but I got a sword. So that was a good strategy that I pull off for experience for Lorak. And yada yada yada. Well, even well, even though I didn't have enough, like basically I can bust up here on myself. I can only bust up here. And as you can see there. For her being a level 19 or 18 or 20 something, she busts out 43 HP off of only cure and stuff. Yeah, once you get to a higher level, then cure is gonna be like dead more. And gain 20 experience and leveled up, speaking of which. 
And now level 21, so that's what I was going to And you haste the pen. You haste the pen. Okay. Let's do that. And let's have quiet, silent, smooth commentary. Thank you. Because you haste the pen. Uh, two hours later with me, Nina, using barrier. Still two turns left before he instantly dies, and me crying. Because I'm waiting so long. And because I'm going crazy with the same movement of turns and stuff and being boring. Being boring. Mm. So, when it comes to my turn again, you haste the fan. Thank you. And with only one turn remaining, we will go on and in. Mario attack me for some experience. Everybody like all haste and stuff. With everybody all haste, it's like his turn is not even his turn is not even coming and stuff. And like I was also using Quicken on me, just don't let my turn go now. Even though I was equipped with haste. Yeah, when it comes to all these quicken, why don't we just change it to you quicken the fan? You quicken the fan. You quit the fan. So, yeah, since I was like quicken and stuff, and stuff being haste and stuff, and that, and that my speed resets. And when it comes to me still doing the same move, this time, you quick the fan. You quick the fan. Yeah, I am quick. So I must defend for to not get blood all over my samples that I'm just flipping upside down. <laughs> well, not upside down, I'm just spinning them on in the air <laughs> and dropping them as you can very much hear. And I haste myself since my haste was done. I just want more of it. More. The judge is gonna move dead people like some like a ridiculous douche. I cannot bust out newer insults about the judge. Other than him being a dick, a douche, a douchebag, a rah rah rah, boom, you boob, a loser, blah blah blah. He's saying random insults while I'm waiting for this dude to instantly die after doing all these random e experience galore moves, especially Cure right here with Macron's last 6 MP. Jesus! 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 Well, amen, my good sir! Jesus! God! Oh God! What's wrong with this? What's wrong with my good sir? Uh, you know what's wrong with this? I tell you what's wrong with this! It's taking too long! I need food! 
<coughs> okay. I need food! Can't... Ugh, sorry, Tim. Sorry. Sorry, NCS. I cannot do a good Titus impression on Final Fantasy X. Bless. BS. The BSD! <laughs> and good thing that missed Macron, whereas... I only took one damage and it missed on me, so that was perfect. For 30 experience, and for finally leveling up. Thank God. That's like, that's gonna be her, her second or third level up in this one exact mission. Oh my gosh, it takes so long. And, I, and even though my spirit says I think, you haste the pen. You haste the pen. And I basically use Marianne to attack me and stuff. For that I, I can't believe I actually miss. Well, so much for that one level up you're missing, Lorak. Way to go, dude. Jeez. Yeah, even though I don't think he'll last that level. And finally, before this dude instantly dies, I on Mount Black's turn, I use Quicken. I use Chicken. I use I I actually use Chicken on my menu. No offense. And it busts out that. So, once again, you click defend. You click defend. Yes, I am quick and out. So I won't die. You click defend. It was once you haste the pen. You haste the pen. And I leveled up for like the second to third time around in this one specific long hell of a effing mission. And finally, two hours later, you die by death. Mwah! Funny because this episode actually took exactly two hours, so it feels like I just skipped time. You think you can just get away with this? Ugh. As long as Julian really comes back. So two hours later, more like 200, 200 to 100 turns later, mission cleared. I am. And now, since I learned my lesson and make everybody feel the same pain, pain as I feel, post commentating pretty much the same thing like five or to ten times that happened. And I know I must pretty much like do that strategy between episodes and stuff. And we actually got the angel ring. Now the angel ring that we just got right now is actually quite hot. Whoever is equipped with the angel ring can actually. Like with the angel ring, you can like resist a whole lot of. Well, it's not all the status elements, but you can resist like a whole lot of set. A lot of status elements, especially doom and zombify, and I think also poison. <laughs> and not only that, whoever you also get auto, you also get auto life automatically when having. The angel ring on, so yeah, that's quite hot. So not only you res, so not only you resist very, 
a whole lot of status element, pretty much most of the status elements, but you also get like auto rise and stuff. So just in case you like die and stuff, you come back. So that's a good accessory to have, and I just put it on macro because woo, she's I mean he's our blue bright mage and stuff. And there are times I pretty much need her. I mean hum. And like he's the second most important member of my team is considering that like he's a white mate and stuff and that I need him. Even though I don't think even though I don't think life or auto life pretty much like automatically like heal your MP along with it and stuff, so I'm not gonna wrong. Other than that, we got our last mission of this bonus episode finally. AKA Wanted! AKA Insta Killing this crazy dude over there. And uh, no, I'm actually seriously correct. This dude's crazy. Yeah, his teammates, low level losers. AKA Level 15, Level 16, Level 16, Level 14, Level 16 on their leader. How loser can you be? You are a real loser. I'm just so sorry. And I'm pretty much making very sarcastical noise with this. So I basically kind of set up... I'm trying to like set this up perfectly and stuff. Because even though they're low level... Lo because even though they're like low level losers, as I may call them. Like, basically... Note that they got a uh, assassin right there. And this game can be a real dick. This mission can be a real dick and bust out and make that assassin bust out an insta kill move, having enough movement in order to like move to me, bust out an insta kill move in order to like insta kill my A, and like automatic game over and can really make you pissed. Yeah. Come to find out why they call me Dark Duke London. Dark Duke or not, we're taking you in, you crazy. Dark douchebag. Yeah, Dark Duke. More like Dark Dick. <laughs> that was well played. And also, yeah. Good thing I pretty much dodged, uh, dodged being pissed. Well, actually, I've been dodged being pissed and stuff because her movement is actually not close enough in order like, to, like, kill, like, where Mario's standing up, so I'm actually safe. But if, but I'm like saying, if she actually got another turn before you, if she got another turn before you and just trying to like insta kill you and stuff, then that will be an issue. That will be a p issue to get pissed about because it's like automatically game over already because of that. Since you're like battling on the jar ad and stuff, and like in the jar, jar, I mean the jaggeds, you gotta be very careful and stuff. Or you, like, lose a teammate forever. So that's, like, one thing to dodge and stuff. Uh, well, at least on this final long mission stuff, I'm, like, enjoying Earthbound music and stuff. Enjoying watching my TV muted out. Making Mario move and stuff. And then on uh, Nina's turn, I just did the same old, same old news bear. I mean, not to worry, but I, I mean, I can go freestyle with all the moves since we're like at the jagged to recall that there's no judges in there so we can just go freestyle with the moves we want we're not limited we don't have to follow that stupid just rules laws and stuff we've got our own crib yo so top those apples <laughs> uh, and i'm and we're just gonna leave use our freedom from that dick of a character in order to take out the real dark dick of this mission. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am a naughty 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 boy. I am a naughty 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 boy. 
I'm sorry. And on Lorak's turn, I try to either use haste on myself or just do something different and conceitedly stupid. But I use haste on myself. That's good because basically when it comes to me, I haste defend. I haste defend. No! No! I can't believe it! <laughs> Yeah, remember the TV that I was watching? Uh, somebody actually died. I was watching Flash, but and somebody actually died. I mean, like when their officers die because they cannot handle the pressure and stuff, and they just automatically die because of some bomb that somebody set and stuff, and like the crim cr the criminal just said, and he died. He died, man. What the heck? <laughs> Oh, I know that is nothing to be, like, all serious about, but, I mean, not to, like, be funny about it, it's, yeah, I need to be serious about it, but I was, because I thought it was, like, funny to you guys, because I thought everybody thought that there was something wrong with either my auto commentary or my video and stuff, like, there's actually an error on something, but it's really not, everything's okay, it's that somebody died on Flashpoint! On TV! Oh my god! Not for real though. Like, there's a whole lot of crying and stuff. <laughs> and everybody's being wimps and other stuff. And undiagnosed men wimps. Undiagnosed men wimps. <laughs> uh, I am a nice person being sarcastic as F. Ugh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That's quite funny and stupid. That's not funny and stupid. It's stupid. And it's very jerkish and stuff. Now it's very jerkish of me laughing about it because I thought everybody found it funny. Because also it was a repeat, okay? It was a repeat that I just watched, that I just explained about Flashpoint. You know, every episode is that got me a repeat and stuff. But I, but I really don't even watch that show, so I pretty much didn't even find. So, pretty much everything's still like a little new to me and stuff. A little new to me. Cause, I mean, I watch cartoons and stuff. I, I still keep on missing trying to watch the season two of Legend of Korra. And basically the only cartoons I watch, depending on my cable, is just yu gi -Oh's XL. Which is what's most important to me. And speaking of which, I wish they even made a game! Which they didn't did yet. But I think they're just trying to like wait for the entire series of Yu Gi Oh! Zexel to be over and on, like make the game out of it. Because like with the earlier seasons, like Yu Gi Oh! 5Ds, like after each season stuff, like after each season of Yu Gi Oh! 5Ds, they kind of make a game out of it for like either for the Nintendo Wii or the DS, like. Like you give five these or Chevy to 20, 29 to 2010 to 2011. So they did that stuff, and yeah. Whereas I'm thinking they're planning to pretty much like do something similar to that, like instead of pretty much breaking it down to like smaller DS games, they're trying to fill it and fill it in all in one game and stuff by. Like, they're trying to fill an all-in-one game, at, like, for the, like, busting out the entire series and stuff. Uh, we use XL. So, that's what they're really doing. Even though it's like a total of four seasons now. Jeez. Or five. Four to five. Jeez, there's gotta be a freaking game already. It's gotta be a real deal freaking game of four to five seasons. What the fuck? And also, also these guys over here are dicks. I'm sorry, but they are just really trying to like corner Marielle, but at the same time also trapping Marielle so she cannot 
try to insta kill the Dark Duke of London. And that's quite ridiculous and stuff. And like because of that, I can't pretty much like kill myself. Plus, Mario is also blind, so she can't do that much of these droop dripping down of HP and stuff. So all that sucks. So you can screw them and stuff. So basically, trying to like bust out the same plan this one time, like for this one time, they're busting out the same plan as the as like the big Gubata and the little. Bug Gubana did, like, they're trying to protect themselves. I mean, they're, like, all protecting their leader, the big Gubana and stuff, so that's what they're doing. We're calling that wanted mission. But I, but what I really need to be careful is their illusion, I mean, is that his little illusion spells going all out and stuff. And oh my gosh, this is melting hot. What the F? I'm burning! Now! 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 Oh, 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 oh. oh, that hurts Nina so hard. It doesn't hurt Macro that much. And, uh, and still asleep. Yeah. Whereas with Nina, she's going to use Barrier, I think. Barrier. Yeah. Commentary. Also, our Maris turn. I just try to skill one of them there because I cannot take it no more because they were being such dicks blocking my way. And also, when it comes to this being the jargon, I gotta be careful with Mario not dying because once again, I also forgot this is the jargon. And if I lose Mario forever, I'm going to be I am going to be pissed as hell if I lose Mario like forever and stuff because she has been my awesome star player with the insta kills yo oh my gosh but to spoil it i don't lose very own in this mission so that's good i won't worry about it i'll never worry about it in our map black's turn i just use quicken 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 and wait a minute if I use the fed on my turn and just and I was all already haste, should I say you haste defend? Shoot, I totally forgot about that. Totally forgot that I did say you haste defend. What's wrong with you, Clayton? What's the what's the F? Jeez. And now since like I'm already quick and that my speed resets, I guess it'll just be you quick defend. Well, I am quick because so I can defend. So yeah. Uh, I totally forgot to say the fed with quick and that screws me up so yeah hey hey I need you to get poisoned you stupid assassin and to die already just die but on Lorax turn, I use Haste on Nina instead of myself because I want the turns and the level up for Nina and stuff. Now it's me stomping my. I stomp my toe! 
Sorry, Woody. I stuck my toe. Ow! <laughs> uh, I cannot memorize that as NCS. I'm sorry. Hey, 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 hey. Me doing that. I stubbed my leg. Stub my freaking leg, yo! Ugh. So I was thinking about like moving over here to think that I can actually heal Marielle from here and stuff with one of my good healing spells. And luckily I can, thank god. So I just try to use Kirag on her because I really need her to heal up. So she can not die forever and stuff since she's being so corny and stuff. And I can only bust out like a hundred HP on her off of a hundred percent off her, so it's a hundred a hundred. One hundred, hundred, hundred dollar bill, real. Okay, Jay Z, and I only heal ninety nine, so it's not hundred dollar bill, real. Sorry, Jay Z. Yeah, And on Nina's haste turn, I pretty much use barrier myself just for the experience. I swear, she's been only, except for this one, t except for this one time, where she used. Fire and or like kill somebody in this bonus episode. She just been using barrier just for the experience and stuff. And sorry of me whispering like that, like suddenly and stuff. Like Martez. Now Martez can be a rip, can be both a dick and an idiot and try to attack Marielle, but at the same time Mary Marielle got returned fire, so it won't work that well. So, what he tried is actually attack Lorak and stuff, even though he only, like, takes some damage of it. And, and it's not like he's really getting hurt and stuff, so that was still good for me. Oh, so swell. Dylan. Dylan, 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 what to do with you, old? What to do with you? What the heck? What the F to do with you? AKA, not prevent Mariel dying off of you. Stupid little douche. That's half of her HP already, 52. Hey. And Elcast can just finish her off and stuff, even though she's like low level. And yeah, he tried to. 95 damage. Yeah. Screw you too. I mean, even though his beatdown got 44% chance, and it. The conclusion? It miss. Door, you miss, sucker! <laughs> and ignoring their assassin who's asleep and poison still. Really feeling that poison. I mean, there's 44 damage and stuff. But as a frog, you take less damage. And finally, uh, and finally, Mario can attack the the stupid Duke. Or like the dark. And Mario finally attacked the dark Duke London. The dark Dick London. Sorry, so just said that instead of Dark Duke. What the hell? And already did 80 damage. Now this is very good because I think I got because basically I got this mission down already. Considering that any attack that pretty much I strike on the Dark Dick London is will just basically kill him. But I can also bust out my insta kills just in case something. But I can also bust out one of Mario's insta kill if insta kills if she's still alive and just in case like he busts out something that's actually darkly dickish for the dark dick london so yeah that kind of makes sense huh. but yeah i was basically afraid of that so i was pretty much fully aware of anything to do my pull and oh thank god that i did not stomp my shoe on a button that would pretty much stop the auto recording or delete something or stuff, or, or I would have been pissed. Ay, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with my voice? 
into your grip. Let me sing all these random love songs into your face. And let me feel your farts in radio. <laughs> uh, you haste defend. You haste defend. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, Dark Dick London, what are you gonna pull out? Hey man, when it comes to me saying that a whole lot in this one specific mission, if like if like my mom actually just watched this mission of the video since she likes been since she like can watch my like she can like watch my V like she watches my videos sometimes. If she actually watches this one specific video on this one specific mission, then that would be horrible for me. Since she might censor my commentary and stuff. And freeze break! Oh my gosh, we're freezing! Freezing through the freaking white! Jeez. When it comes to this attack, Freeze Blink actually have a good name. Since it can not only like freeze us, but it can also freeze my screen catcher of all this white. Jeez. Fall this white man. Jeez. Uh. That's actually quite funny that I can actually like freeze my screen catcher of my edit of my video editor with all this white. So it's like freeze blink and stuff. Oh my gosh. So that was a good name actually, freeze blink. Like what? You're you're blinking your eye in order to like freeze everything. Jeez. And on uh, Lorax turn, just in order to protect Mario from getting creamed, I was trying to use break from Lorax in order to kill someone. Even though the only person I can insta kill is this dude right here, which won't be a plum to Mario since all of his attacks is just arrows and stuff. So I won't have to worry about that. So basically, I just ignore them and stuff. But what I really focus on is trying to finally, in finally like kill their assassins. So he's like a uh, frog and stuff, and he, she's basically defenseless asleep. So she's done for as a frog. Well, so much for the happy ending of Princess and the Frog. Ouch. And with still enough MP left to go for another barrier, need to use it on me just for some experience points. Just yawning randomly and trying to like ignore everybody, making you feel my pain. And even though Mario's blind, actually, which won't be a problem, I can actually eliminate that little ignoring problem with Asuna from Macron since her turn is up and that she's near Mario. So that's something I can actually do in order like help Mario a little more. So yeah, and I just thought of that. So that kind of takes care of that problem. And this dude's going for the longbow. He's going for the longbow. And I'll blow up Macron's MP. But he missed even though it's 90%. Oh my gosh, you suck. What is wrong with you? Where you're at? Hi. My gosh. And like, he's trying to like, damage and finish me off and stuff with Lancet and stuff, even though he cannot finish me off since it only like, suck 47 of my HP away. Ow. Ow. Ow! I stubbed my toe! What the F? <laughs> 
And finally, Marielle's turn, and having enough movement to even insta-kill the Dark Dick London, even though I don't think you can actually insta-kill their boss, actually. You can still normally attack him, and he dies. Thank God. Dark Duke, you die. Dark Dick, you die. Dark Duke, Dark Dick, you die. How could I fall? Darkness, take me into this fold. Take me on this hold! Hold of post commentating two hours a freaking day! Ay. Plus editing the next episode you just bust out. Yeah, take me out of this hold. <laughs> and that was our last mission. And the end of this bonus episode. So basically what I'm going to be doing between episodes now since I got Ritz and stuff and oh, R6, anti long. What I'm going to be doing between episodes and stuff is that basically I'll be doing a couple of the patch missions here and there. Pretty much be working on this new strategy that I just show you with you haste defend on myself and or level myself even higher during like side battles and stuff for the patch missions and stuff. And since we got Ritz now, I'll pretty much will also try to level up Ritz and stuff. Since we got her and stuff, and that Ritz is basically our important side character, also. So, I will be doing those strategies, I'll also be leveling up everybody else, and I'll try to teach Macron some new moves. As a blue mage and stuff, I'll try that. And stuff. So, yeah, that's the end of the episode and stuff. So, if you like this episode, subscribe to my channel, big yellow button, like this video, and watch my other videos, and if you like those other videos as well, hit a like on them, and hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day, I know I am, I know I'm having a fantastic Sunday, and I'll see you guys then after I pretty much check out the weapons and stuff that I cannot equip myself onto. And I don't know that the Trident... Wow, the Trident can actually increase Lorak's weapon attack, even though I really don't want that. And the Tyrant fans actually boost... make them learn Earth Render, actually. That I just got. Which is, can actually be actually very useful, but yeah. So, yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Hopefully, hopefully you're having a fantastic day. And saved. And once again, I do not have to show myself saving, jeez.